Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Greg here with Technically Speaking. Now, a whole new generation of wireless mesh networking systems have landed. So this week I'm gonna be taking a look at the Deco M9 Plus by TP-Link to see if there's any type of a substantial upgrade here or if it's kind of more of the same. Now there's a ton to talk about, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. The Deco M9 Plus is an Amazon exclusive product that you can pick up for 299 US dollars and comes with two interchangeable routers. Now pay very close attention to which product you're looking at or you may end up buying the previous generation, the M5, which is a three pack router. Now the kit itself, comes with two routers that can be set up in any order, two power supplies with a proprietary barrel type connector, an ethernet cord, and some documentation that, I mean, let's be real, no one's really gonna read it anyway. Now the entire system will cover 4,500 square feet, but like I mentioned in all of my networking videos, uh, those numbers are very rough estimates. Um, there are a ton of factors at play that will determine ultimately how much coverage you get out of any one of these products. Um, there are things like local network interference or signal interference that you come across or the building materials that your house is made out of. All of these things can affect how much actual coverage you get out of your system, but 4,500 square feet is, that, that's a sane number. Now, if, if your house is so big that it has a proper name like falling leaves or you refer to it as my estate, you might have to buy, I don't know, like five of these things or something. But for everyone else, a single kit is probably more than going to cover just an average house. Now, under the hood, this system features some really, really impressive hardware. Each router comes with a quad-core CPU, four gigs of onboard EMMC flash storage, and 512 megabytes of RAM, meaning it's got plenty of horsepower to support up to 100 connected devices, and all of these other features that I'm gonna talk about in just a minute. There are two onboard gigabit ethernet ports, a reserved USB 2.0 port, and eight omnidirectional antenna that cover the 2.4 and five gigahertz frequencies. They support the usual 802.11 ABGN and AC, and this is also a tri-band system, which is a big deal. So where previous wireless systems would borrow bandwidth from the 2.4 and five gigahertz channels to form a wireless backhaul, the M9 Plus has its own dedicated five gigahertz channel specifically for wireless backhaul communication, which leaves the 2.4 and other five gigahertz channels free for just client data. The single five gigahertz backhaul is rated at 866 megabits per second, but under extreme load, the system can borrow up to 50% of the client channels, the 2.4 and five gigahertz channels, to form a single wireless backhaul of up to 1.5 gigabits per second, meaning you're really gonna have to throw a lot of traffic at this thing to even see a hiccup. Now setup, like pretty much all modern mesh systems, is very, very simple and controlled via an app that you can get on either iOS or Android. There's really not much to talk about here. You plug in one of the routers into your modem, you supply power to it, and then you follow the on-screen instructions in the app, and that's basically it. And honestly, even if this thing was like 10 times more difficult to set up, it would still be worth it because the feature set is just that good. First of all, the M9 Plus functions as a smart home hub, meaning you can connect all kinds of IoT devices to it. Uh, it supports Bluetooth 4.2 and Zigbee 1.2 devices, as well as If This Then That and Amazon Alexa. Now, unfortunately, there's not a ton of devices that are supported yet. So if you're going to buy this specifically for the smart home interface, you're definitely going to want to check with TP-Link's documentation to make sure that your device is supported. Also disappointing is the lack of Google Assistant integration, but expect all this to change over time as the product matures. Now, a router that doubles as a smart home hub is not exactly unique, but I'm just getting started. Like the M5 before it, the M9 comes with TP-Link's home care powered by Trend Micro, which is a suite of three tools designed to protect your network and devices from threats both external and internal. The malicious content filter warns and blocks access to websites that Trend Micro reports as unsafe. The intrusion prevention system protects against external attacks on your network. And the infected device quarantine isolates compromised devices already on your network to prevent further abuse, which is awesome for combating things like rogue IoT devices. And the best part is the entire service is free for three years. Now, if you aren't quite sure why this is a really big deal, let me put it to you this way. I'm an IT guy by trade. Normally companies have to pay for these types of services and the software 
and they also have to pay for specialized staff that operates and maintains and manages those services. You're getting all of that for free for at least three years. That definitely sets the M9 apart from its competitors. Last and possibly most importantly, the M9 Plus features the best parental controls I have seen on any system we have reviewed hands down. If you're a parent and you're concerned about keeping tabs on internet access that your kids have, pay attention. This is the system for you. You can start by creating profiles, which are basically groups of devices that you want to control separately. In my case, I have a group for my kids. I have a group for all of my internal nerd stuff, and I have a group for the adults. From there, I can select a predefined age group that applies a set of automatic filters, which can also be customized. You can then add or remove entire categories of content, for example, adult content or social networking, and block individual websites if you find something that isn't already covered. On top of the content filters, you can define what specific hours each group is allowed to access the internet and for how long. With the filter in place, you can also review what websites each group has visited, how long they were connected, and the total amount of time spent online. You can even set up alerts to get notified when a group violates a policy. For example, when your teenager is trying to browse Facebook at 11.30 at night. You can generate monthly usage reports. You can prioritize certain types of traffic so that you have lower latency while gaming or less buffering while streaming movies. You can even blacklist entire devices so that they can never connect to your network ever again. And you can use the built-in internet speed test to determine if the internet's really slow or if it's just you. There are so many features. It's actually kind of hard to cover them all in just a single video. So if you have any questions at all, leave comments down below and we'll definitely get back to you. It's challenging to find any real major problems with this system because it's just that good. Probably my chief complaints are the fact that it doesn't yet support Google Assistant. The other problem that I have is the fact that you can't customize the DHCP pool or the IP address pool that gets assigned out to your wireless clients. Now for most people, that doesn't matter. Now if you wanna see how the system stacks up to our previous top tier systems that we had been recommending, uh, make sure you get subscribed down below and check that bell icon so that you won't miss the next uploads that we have in the coming week where we do head-to-head -head comparisons between this system and our previous winners like Google Wi-Fi and the Amplify HD. All right, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by to watch this video. You can check out some of our other reviews up here in the corner or be sure to leave comments down below if you like what you see, if you have any questions and we'll see you all next time.